God always has a plan. Lauren and I truly believe that. And he knew I was going to need Lauren. And no tumor and no disease was going to beat me while I had her fighting by my side. Finally feels real now that you're all here. And I'm just glad that we're finally getting this thing done. Heavenly Father, your word tells us that tribulation worketh patience, and that patience is a virtue. It is through trying times such as these that we all learn to seek you ever so deeply. That is why your word tells us to count tribulation as joy, because of what it creates in us and how we learn to see your presence through these times. Certainly, Jake and Lauren have already grown so much together in you. Certainly, They have already shown the depth of their unconditional love for one another and their faith in you. Certainly, your presence in their lives is an example for us all. There's a really beautiful letter from Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the German theologian, who in the 1940s was in prison for his resistance to the Nazi regime. And he wrote a letter from this prison cell to his two friends that were about to be married. And he told them in the letter that even though the world was dark and difficult, two people choosing to marry in the face of it was a sign that that wouldn't have the last word, that they had hope in a better future, and that love would triumph over everything. Lauren and Jake, you of all people know how quickly life can turn, but today your lives are a testimony that whatever happens, God remains at work and we remain in God. And so you are here today as a sign of great hope and love for all of us. They have within them the heart to really truly love one another. We watched Jake treat her the way he did when she was sick and then we watched the reverse of that. So these are two really, really special people. A lot of people stand up there and give their vows and say thick and thin, but they've really only experienced the thick and you guys have really been through some thin times. And there's nothing I hope more than for you guys to have nothing but thick from here on out. God never gives us more than we can handle. And Jake and Lauren, what it shows is that he's given you a strong pillar to grow upon. You have a bright, bright future ahead of you. Everything you went through, you grew love in each one of us. And you have not only been a rock for yourselves, but you've been a testament to the rest of us. And we love you. Lauren, I know we are better for God together than we are apart. Jake, I know that we are better for God together than we are apart. In this covenant, we are made holy through God's transforming grace for the rest of our lives. I vow to love you, to honor and respect you, to serve you, and to be faithful to you in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. I vow to cherish you in victory and in failure. I vow to stand with you in anger and in joy. I vow to see Christ in you on earth and in heaven. I I vow to to serve serve God God at your side. side. Now that Lauren and Jake have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, I announce to you that they are partners for life in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May those whom God has joined together in holy covenant be forever supported by the community of faith. Jake and Lauren, you may now seal your vows with a kiss. feels so full to celebrate such a happy and important life event of such a cherished friend. I'm so happy for you, and that is my wish, that your life together be filled with love, and that your knowledge of each other and love for each other only continues to grow. tale that today has been, remember, Cinderella does lose her shoe and she is sometimes late. Life can be that way too. The story itself, y'all's story, 
is all that matters, and it's only getting started. May your joys be as bright as the morning, your years of happiness as numerous as the stars in the heaven, and your troubles but shadows that fade in the sunlight of love.